of all the high performance parts and high tech computer modules in each of the finely tuned systems that allow us the freedom to practically fly, none is more important than the system that provides us the capability to stop. Brakes, the most important safety device on your vehicle. It's hard to imagine, but brakes were only an option on many of the first automobiles. Vehicles didn't go that fast, and the more frugal owners relied on the engine's own compression and lower gears to slow their vehicles down. The early brake systems borrowed their technology similar to that found on the old horse-drawn buggy. But it wasn't long before vehicles demanded much more stopping efficiency. That was a demonstration of good brakes. In 1924, the first four-wheel hydraulic fluid brake system appeared, but they didn't stop there. Brakes are now high-tech, and Dr. John explains why. Hydraulic fluid is an excellent product to transfer pressure from the brake pedal to the wheel drums because it does not produce bubbles. <laughs> Brake fluid delivers the driver's intent to slow down or stop immediately to the brakes. This messenger between the master and its slave cylinders must be able to handle over a thousand psi of pressure, resist freezing and boiling temperatures, and prevent rust, corrosion, and deterioration throughout the braking system. With ABS, the brake fluid's job gets even tougher. The computerized ABS is much more sensitive to changes in hydraulic brake fluid than the rest of the brake system. So it's no surprise that anything under this much pressure, often getting pushed to its boiling and freezing point, can begin to break down. Also, brake fluid is glycol-based and extremely hygroscopic, as in thirsty for water. <coughs> and that means it will absorb moisture from anywhere it can find it. When water is absorbed, the brake fluid is contaminated and ready to retire. With as little as 4% moisture, the brake fluid's wet boiling point can go below the federal DOT3 limit. Once brake fluid boils, it no longer provides adequate lubrication and corrosion protection. By the time fluid has been in the system three years, it can easily deteriorate gradually enough that most drivers will barely notice the difference in their braking ability until they need it the most. Care and adjustment of brakes is a serious and vital part of the serviceman's work. The cast iron, steel, aluminum, and brass components of the brake system are susceptible to rust and corrosion, and many of the pneumatic parts can deteriorate with old brake fluid. This is why original equipment manufacturers recommend brake fluid replacement after so many years or miles. We can tell what condition brake fluid is in by testing it for moisture and the lack of corrosion inhibitors. By the color on this test strip, I see that this fluid is due for a change. And speaking of brakes, it's time for mine. I'll see ya. Getting the old used brake fluid out of the system could be expensive if we were to attempt to simply drain the brake lines and fill the reservoir. This would introduce air into the brake lines, and that introduces more cost to this service. Our sophisticated brake fluid flush service is able to remove and replace all the brake fluid without bleeding the brake lines and having the expense of removing trapped air pockets. This service will extend the life of your brake system, and it takes only a short time to do it today. I think it's time to give our brakes a test, and we'll give you one at the same time. If you said C, a set of brakes failing, well, you were wrong, but a good guess. A lot of people think that familiar squeal is a sensor in their brakes telling them it's time to replace them. Actually, there may be nothing wrong with your brakes at all. It's just a characteristic of today's new, harder compound, long-life brake material. They tend to squeal when the brakes are applied. But knowing that doesn't make the squeal any less annoying, does it? The brake squeal service involves specifically treating the porous surface of the brake pad to reduce the vibration that occurs when the pad and rotor meet. Whether it's time to test the brake fluid, or if you're tired of your brakes testing your nerves, talk to your service representative about these two brake services. We'll be right back.